We are just waiting for our ring party to adjust the height of the jumps. They are going down to 50 centimeters. Our next range of dogs would have all been measured to accommodate their heights accordingly to make sure that they jump the correct heights. So, thank you very much, ring party. So we're starting this first run with Chris Curtin. He is running his board collie, Poughkeepsie Funky Duck, also known as Funky Duck. Steaming around the course there, just picking up five faults in the weaves. Chris has said that Funky is a three-year-old border collie, already showing great potential having qualified for the 2024 Welsh WA team. She's a beautiful neutered dog who loves to work. Finishing in a lovely round there, just on five faults with 33.325. On the line now, we have Jo Fowler from Stonehaven. She's running True's Ace Dream, also known as Trinity. Doing a lovely turn there. Very nice tight turn there. Trinity apparently is a kind and honest girl who is a joy to train. Unfortunately, just picking up the wrong jump there, but they're gonna carry on anyway. Trinity has no idea that she's gone wrong. She's having a great time out on the course. Her favorite game is herding and chasing her dad, Danny. Well done, Jo. On the line now is Laura Murphy from Dublin in Ireland. Bought her own fan club by the sounds of it. She is running the Honey Badger, also known as Indy. Apparently, Indy has your favorite Tesco bag dog. Since last year, she's become a famous actress, but she prefers the green carpet to the red carpet. Indy's having a great time out there. Picking up the wrong course, but they're gonna continue around the course anyway, into the tunnel, through those weaves. Down the side of the arena, into the tunnel there. Let's give them a big cheer home, in the tunnel. And over the line. Now we have Bernie Jobbins. She's running her border collie, Aurora's Flaming Magic. Rory is Bernie's dream dog. She is totally perfect in every way, although we won't mention the noise, as you can hear. She's a spoiled little princess, but Bernie wouldn't have it any other way. Just picking up a refuse on the weaves there, but they're gonna continue. It is all to play for in this jumping round. Down the tunnel, onto the last one, and over the finish line with five balls in 29.277. On the line now is Kate Howlett. She is running Macy Boy, or Bombalini Time to Fly. He is her very own homebred puppy. He's two years old, and this is his first time competing on the green carpet in front of a big audience. Kate has said he's a pleasure to train and a joy to live with, even when he hops her bed, and it opens the back door and lets himself out. They are clear so far, and they're coming over the last line. Lovely clear round, well done, Kate. Into first place in a time of 27.979.
On to our last dog now in this intermediate height. This is Olivia Pats, and she's running Oodles. Registered name is Combine Away, a ton of jewels. Oodles is another two year old Border Collie and definitely one of a kind. He has taught Olivia so much from a dog that wasn't keen on agility. You can see him now, he is enjoying this game through those weaves. Just picking up an elimination. Oodles doesn't know that. They're going to continue anyway, finishing on in the tunnel. Oh. Okay, so we're on to the mediums. As you can see, we are changing the heights again. They are going down. All the dogs are measured in agility to make sure that they're jumping a height that's appropriate to their size. Uh, and those are for safety reasons. So we're just uh, making sure that everything is correct. Our judge, Andrew, will be checking everything to make sure that he's happy. So here we are with Michael Green uh, from Southampton. This is BB, uh, work working Cocker Spaniel. Tufty head, born to be wild. She looks very happy, isn't she, on the start line? She's like, I'm ready to go. So sharp right turn. Down that line, into the weaves. Same rules apply. First pole on the left shoulder of the dog. Oh my goodness, we nearly went wrong, but we're okay. Oh, we did, unfortunately. Eliminated for taking the jump the wrong way, but let's give them a big round of applause. Well done, cracking effort. Oh, I think we overcooked it. I think he was panicking about the back of uh, number three there, and. Uh, called her off it, unfortunately, and just took the wrong jump. So, next to go, Lily Woodford. With uh, Devon Gem Spider beside her of Chilter Nilly. That's a long name. Uh, Sparrow for short. Two-year-old Cocker Spaniel. Down that line, racing down there. Into the tunnel and out into those weaves. They can't see those weaves when they're in a the tunnel. So they have to rely on the handler's instruction that that is the next obstacle that's coming. This is looking good. Come on, down the line, let's cheer them home, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Was that my fault for saying it was looking good? Oh my goodness. 29.170 still goes into the lead with five faults. Oh, goodness me. Well recovered though, right at the end there. Made sure she went back and did the jump. Okay, so next to go on the line, we have Jill Chianta with Truly, mixed Collie Cross, three years old. First time at Crufts for both uh, the handler, both for uh, Jill and for the dog. So here we go, down the line, into those weaves. Oh, independent weave entry, very nice. Oh. Right turn, right turn, right turn. There we go. Come on, Jill. Come on, Jill. Let's cheer them home down the line. One to go, one to go. Yes! Well done. 25, 7, 2, 1 on the clock with a clear round. That's how you do it, ladies and gentlemen, isn't it? Yeah. Give instruction and the dog knows what to do. Brilliant. Well done. Like I say, goes into first place. In fact, is our only clear round so far in this height. On the course, is Christine Wingate win? She unfortunately has already been eliminated. This is Verdi. And Deborah Jen, she's high on life. As you can tell, I think that's quite an apt description. Oh, you mean that tunnel? There's the poles. So this is a three-year-old working cocker spaniel. She says she's the craziest, sweetest, joyful, and most dynamic working cocker. Oh, that tunnel, one to go, Christine. Well done, she's had a ball. She's absolutely loved it. First time at Crufts for Verdi, so that's the main thing, that she enjoyed it, which I think we can safely say that she did. So next on the line, we have Amy Bingham with Otally Totally Insane, four-year-old 
mixed breed. She's written here, no collie, straight ABC. So I'm not quite sure what the mix is. She actually, uh, that's five forks for a missed weave entry. So she actually bought Otis, that's two, two forks, so we're on ten, as a cockapoo. Not sure he looks like a cockapoo either, but uh, there you go. So unfortunately, picking up an elimination there just for taking the wrong course. Got into a middle of a muddle, but here we go. Nice, lovely finish. Well done, Amy. I think Otis had a, had a ball out there. That's the main thing. Somebody else looking very happy on the start line there. This is Bo with Bronya McMillan, four-year-old Cocker Spaniel. Just came inside the jump there, so picked up a refusal. And that is unfortunately an elimination for uh, taking the wrong course. Just looks a little bit worried about the arena, so uh, I'm not gonna say too much because I think she might be a bit overwhelmed. Oh, quite likes the judge though. What's not to love, eh, Andrew? <laughs> I'm just going to go and see everybody. Come on, Bo. Well done. Can we do the tunnel to finish? Yes, well done. Let's give them a big round of applause. Well done. Just a little bit too much, I think. OK, so we are on to the smalls.